Now we'll talk about um, connecting your your uh, Mac using uh, an analog setup for, and this is basically used for older TVs. Um, we see the yellow, white, and red is the basic inputs on that. Um, looking to the right, we lo we're looking at the S video and the um, the analog uh, video connector. Uh, pigtails, and then we, we're going into the cabling, and we see the RCA cabling. You can use, uh, once again, uh, an RCA plug, a coaxial, uh, coaxial plug, whatever you want to call it. And, and then, of course, there's the S-Video connector, which you see that is associated to the port, to the ports on the TV. Now, you can use one or the other, but you can't use both. I'm not sure about this on the older Macs as far as um, looking down at the optical video connector. I just threw that in there. Uh, I'm not sure if it worked for the older Macs, but um, yeah, it's pretty much a no. I don't think it's going to work. Um, I think this uh, fiber optic connector is a new thing for the newer Macs. So just use the uh, stereo uh, plug connector and RCA stereo cable that you see right there in the middle and uh, just plug them into your um, into your television through the white and the red. Now we're going to look at the SVGA or the VGA uh, hookup component hookup. We say component instead of uh, we see we say component because we have the uh, RGB breakout off of the VGA uh, pigtails. And uh, so once again, we have, you can go VGA to VGA into your television, or you can go VGA to uh, RGB um, if your television has the RGB input uh, plugs, as you can see in the, the picture above. Um, once again, the audio works the same. You can either go fiber optical, or you can go RCA stereo with a mini stereo plug. Now we're looking at the, uh, the DVI hookup or the DVI HDMI hookup. Uh, we see the D DVI pigtail there, uh, whether it's coming from the micro DVI or the regular uh, mini display port DVI. Um, from the pigtail, you can go DVI, DVI, male to male. And uh, once again, I think the DVI um, port is a dying breed. And then so it would be better to just go from, and there's a Belkin cable that's uh, DVI to HDMI, and we can see an HDMI hookup into that TV. Um, your audio is going to run exactly the same again. You can go fiber optical if you have it on your TV. Uh, why you would run 5-in-1 channel separation on a stereo TV, I'm not really sure, but I think that would help in recording, not so much uh, for just straight-up television. If, if that's the case, then just go stereo again, stereo, um, mini stereo plug to RCA stereo. Here are, here's another connection. This is called, uh, from the, uh, mini display port to an HDMI. This is proprietary third party mini display port, uh, pigtail. Um, yeah, the cable's one and the same. It was, it was just photographed twice, uh, the back and the front. And the back connects up to the mini display port and the front end goes to HDMI. You see the two HDMI connections. This is a standard HDMI cable, male to male, going into the TV and going into the pigtail. Audio connection is the same. You have fiber. Uh, you're guaranteed fiber with the mini, uh, probably with the mini display port. And, um, and you can go stereo as well. Uh, make sure you take the stereo that's not a set, take the stereo uh, that is uh, in the middle of the TV connectors. Now here's the uh, Canex 5-in-1 HDMI all-in-one solution. It has 5-in-1 uh, surround sound and it's probably the easiest uh, cable to use among all the cables that I'm showing you uh, because it takes your H it, it, uh, it takes your audio from your audio port Looking down at the the blowout of the uh, the MacBook, you see that the the audio connects up to a fiber audio, which means that they give you five-in-one sound separation. And then, of course, the video is connected 
uh, to the mini display port, which uh, they had made. And, and then there's the USB connection. Now, I think the USB connection is to provide power to uh, break out the fiber audio. It has to change the uh, signal, the audio signal, from uh, um, optical to electrical analog. And it's going to put the five different channels and put out the sound signal, the sound signal, into the uh, HDMI connector. So when you connect HDMI, um, yes, uh, this seems to be the best option for modern Macs and HDMI TVs or video equipment. And uh, yes, there's 5-in-1 surround sound audio and it transports it via the HDMI. So there are no audio hookups when you're using this cable. This seems to be the best solution and uh, this is what I recommend. It's the Canex 5.1. Anyway, thank you for watching Tech Talk, and, uh, uh, and now you know the secret to connecting your Mac to a TV or to another monitor. Come back to Tech Talk for more information, more technical information about Macs or PCs or in the world of electronics. Thank you very much.